Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. May God bless you all. Father Kevin Ogul, don't call Nigerians. You see, made them pray for Peter Obi. Say all these bad people, they dare against Peter Obi. They don't they plan evil. They have, in fact, they have already planned evil against Peter Obi. You can't tell them right now and say, waiting Peter will be needed now. Say now pray out. Make them pray for, pray for Peter will be. Say Peter will be need their prayers. Okay, Nigerians. You see this 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 way when these people they go concerning these Peter will be issues. Make them take a museum. Nigeria, be like say Nigeria, don't they sit down for time bob <laughs> with the way things they go now. Hmm. He can blow at any time. May then take him easy. But anyway, guys, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. Father Kevin Ogo, a Nigerian missionary priest working in Gambia, has called on the supporters of the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi. To always keep him in their prayers. The cleric said they should stand by him, insisting it would be at proving he could be trusted. His statement is coming on the heels of the federal government's accusation against Obi of inciting violence over the outcome of the February 25th poll, saying it is treason. Also, in the fresh controversy of a leaked audio, of an alleged conversation between him and the founder of the Living Faith Church, Bishop David Oyedebo. However, Obi, in his statement, he personally signed on Wednesday, described the audio as fake. He further raised an alarm that imminent pressures was being, amount, was being mounted on him to leave the country. Meanwhile, Father Kevin, in his statement via his Facebook page on Thursday, said, the forces against Obi could be light towards Ephesians 6, 12, described as principalities, powers, and rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. He wrote, Always keep Peter Obi in your prayers. The forces against him now are words Ephesians, 612 described as principalities, powers, rulers of darkness, and spiritual wickedness in high places. These people are malicious and evil and are ready to sacrifice anything or anyone if they can arrange fake priests and bishops in a broad daylight when it is strictly not called for. There is nothing they cannot do. I suggest that at all times, we should stand by him. Peter will be. He has proven again and again that he can be trusted. And even if you don't trust him 100%, the other options are far from being options. May God bless you all who keep standing for the truth. Nothing should distract you. Pray and when there is a need to put anyone in his or her place, do so intelligently, he said. So guys, what's your take on this? Father Kelvin Ogu, a Nigerian missionary priest working in Gambia, has called on the supporters of the Labour Party, presidential candidate Peter Obi, to always keep him in prayer. So he said they should always pray for Peter Obi because evils, Hey, they don't gang, gang up against Peter Obi. The cleric said they should stand by him, insisting Obi had proven he could be trusted. His statement is coming on the heels of the federal government's accusation against Obi of inciting violence over the outcome of the February 25th poll, saying it is treason. Also, in the fresh controversy of a leaked audio, of an alleged conversation between him and the founder of the Living Faith Church, Bishop David Oyedepo. However, Obi in a statement he personally signed on Wednesday described the audio as fake. He further raised an alarm that imminent pressure 
was being martyred on him to leave the country. Meanwhile, Father Kevin, in a statement via his Facebook page on Thursday, said, The forces against Sobi could be light towards Ephesians 6, 12, described as principalities of powers, the rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. He wrote, Always keep Peter Ubi in your prayers. The forces against him are what Ephesians 6, 12, described as principalities and powers, rulers of darkness and spiritual wickedness in high places. These people are malicious and evil, and they are ready to sacrifice anything or anyone if they can arrange fake priests and bishops in a broad daylight when it is strictly not called for. There is nothing they cannot do. I suggest that all at all times we should stand by. Mr. Peter Obi, he has proven again and again that he can be trusted. And even if you don't trust him 100%, the other options are far from being options. May God bless you all who keep standing for the truth. Nothing should distract you. Pray, and when there is a need to put anyone in his or her place, do so intelligently. Some people have gone so bad that they don't seem to fear God anointed anymore. David, in all travails, that supports him and never insulted or even tried to harm so. When he had the opportunity, people can now stand and insult God's generals like Bishop Oyedepo and try to publicly rubbish his repetition. If you don't understand the topic being discussed, don't just jump into it because you may incur the wrath of the Almighty God. This Reverend Father referred to a passage in the Bible and you need to read it before jumping into comments. That is just an advice I have for you. Okay, someone just dropped that because they are not like men of God of old. These people are businessmen. Who is God's anointed? What if he threw the anointing away as he has done with reckless political utterances? But you are not to judge. Allow God to do that. Okay? I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.